What's going on, Vincent Reps already Big Blue Unbiased.com. Thank you to those who've liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure to turn notifications on so it's my post to get notification. And you can come join in on the conversation. I'm gonna get right to the conversation in this video. This is a very important video. This is a big time video. I usually don't jump right into the conversation, but this is one of those videos where I have to. So the Jets have released Le'Veon Bell. And a lot of people think it's just ridiculous. The Giants, why would they sign Le'Veon Bell? Why would Le'Veon Bell sign with the Giants? It's really interesting, okay, because the people who complain about Daniel Jones not performing, and look, Daniel Jones hasn't performed, but they're the same people who will also complain that why would the Giants ever make a trade for a wide receiver? They're not in that kind of mode. They're not ready to win a Super Bowl. They'll complain about Saquon Barkley being drafted second overall. They'll tell you that playing a rookie at left tackle is just fine, even if he struggles and is terrible. Let him get his experience, even if it affects Daniel Jones in a big way, in a negative way, right? If Andrew Thomas is playing poorly, that's going to hurt Daniel Jones. And Andrew Thomas has literally been maybe the worst left tackle in football so far this season. And they will also tell you that Le'Veon Bell to the Giants would be ridiculous and just so stupid. I don't get it. I don't know what you want. You want Daniel Jones to just carry the team on his back with, with no weapons, with no support, with no help? He's a second-year quarterback. You want to give young quarterbacks weapons. You want to put them in a good situation. A veteran quarterback, a 10, 12-year quarterback, okay, you hope that maybe he can make some players better, elevate players, um, and maybe he doesn't need first-round picks everywhere or big-time players everywhere. He can elevate players at in the veteran stage of his career. But a player like Daniel Jones is a young player in a new system. He needs help. You want to give young quarterbacks help. And people... I've offered the, the idea, I've put out the idea many times. In the offseason and then a couple weeks into the season, I said the Giants should trade for a wide receiver, whether that was to the Adam Thielen level of player or even a Chris Conley. I've offered both ideas, and people thought it was ridiculous. Why? I understand the argument that the Giants are not winning a Super Bowl this year, but look at the situation Daniel Jones is in. He's fighting for his Giants career. It's easy to sit here and say, well, the Giants, they're just not going to compete. Okay, but don't you want the young quarterback to be put in a good situation where he's not having Damian Ratley, a guy that they added off waivers before the season, who played 50% of snaps on Sunday for the Giants. He had one target and didn't catch a pass. I said this in the offseason. They should have traded for a wide receiver like Chris Conley, at least a good depth piece, a guy that can stretch the field, make plays down the field. Even if you're saying the Giants shouldn't go out and get an Adam Thielen, a Chris Conley would help the Giants out right now. He would. Even if you don't think he is at an Adam Thielen level, he's still a solid player, at least a good depth option, someone you can trust, someone who has a track record in the NFL. I mean, Damian Ratley, okay, maybe you think he has some potential, but he hasn't actually put together any sort of stretch of good football in his career. He's not someone you can legitimately trust playing 50% of snaps. He's not someone you can trust for your young quarterback who has to rely on him playing 50% of snaps. That's not fair to Daniel Jones to put him out there with Damian Ratley. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just, I don't get it. You want Daniel Jones to succeed, but at the same time, you don't want to give him any weapons. Most of Giants fans hate the draft pick of Saquon Barkley, which if Saquon Barkley's healthy, offers Daniel Jones a very good rushing option, right? A very good, a very good option in the backfield. He's a good receiver as well. You hate that. You don't want them to trade for a wide receiver because you don't think they're a win-not team, even though the wide receiver depth that they have right now is not very good, and it's hurting Daniel Jones, and it's hurting his future, and it's hurting his development. You don't want that. You wanted a rookie. From day one, you wanted a rookie to start at left tackle. Even before Nate Solder opted out, everyone wanted Andrew Thomas to start at left tackle. I told you that was a bad idea. Look how that's going. And now many of you don't want Le'Veon Bell. At least consider the idea. Devonta Freeman's averaging 3.1 yards per carry. So to consider the idea of maybe signing Le'Veon Bell, it's not ridiculous, okay? Devonta Freeman has played in three games averaging 3.1 yards per carry. So yeah, they should consider signing Le'Veon Bell. The Giants are not a bad team when it comes to run block win rate. Um, they're decent. They're really not as bad as you would think that they would be. So yeah, if you add a player like Le'Veon Bell, who he didn't play well last year, but you're talking about a bad Jets offensive line last year that averaged per carry, 0.7 yards before contact. Uh, that was the worst in the NFL. They had a bad offensive line. So I'm not saying Le'Veon Bell is vintage Le'Veon Bell. But he also caught 66 passes last year, so he, he offers the option in, in the receiving game. 
what I mean, what's what's the worst thing that happens? You sign him to one year deal and he's not vintage Le'Veon Bell and he averages four yards per carry. I don't get it. Why not? Why not sign him? Give your quarterback another option. He's been an established player over the course of his career. We'll see how much he has left. Averaging around four yards per carry. He only had like 19 carries because he was hurt uh, for a few weeks. He was on IR. So we'll see, right? If we'll, we'll see what he looks like on another team. But the Jets, talking about last year, the Jets, Jets had a pitiful offensive line. Tough for really, uh, really any running back to run behind that. So all I'm saying is why wouldn't you consider that the idea of signing Le'Veon Bell if you're the Giants Devonta Freeman's holding you back? That seems a little bit crazy.